Hello again, it's now time for Mission, and this program is sponsored by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Danida, and the European Union. In our very first story, Mene would have gone to the Holomuni Health Centre in the Upper West Region to access health care, but the poor condition of the facility is causing patients to resort to other means. Health officials say support to put the facility in good shape is not forthcoming. It was put up 20 years ago to serve many. Over 3,700 people now seek health care here. By its referral status, it serves over 7,000 clients, but it is no longer what provides the needed service. The building stands destroyed. Clients bear the brunt of a destroyed building attending a clinic and yet unable to get proper health care. Care providers find themselves operating what they call a sick system. You look at the structure which was built over 20 years ago. Since then, no renovation has taken place. When you even want to do your best, but the space is not there. Imagine you are here to do consultation and this bat Feces are fallen on clients. I have moved from my house to this place to assess healthcare, to improve upon my health. Then I end up by taking other diseases or other sicknesses back home. And so clients will not come. They will resort to other means to seek healthcare. Women that are trying to bring future leaders of this country have to lie down with ceilings removed, bus sitting on them, and you know labor can travel as long as 8, 12 hours. And any time I enter that room, I mean, strangely, I suffocate. Yet we have put staff there who would also, I mean, would otherwise have had a comfortable living elsewhere. But they are positioning their work under those kind of conditions. They, they are not helping themselves. They are not helping the people that they are meant to help. About seven of them work their brains out here. They have no option. Many would have loved to serve in other places, but this is where they are, ready and willing to serve people. But they themselves do not get the help they need to extend health care to patients. Dr. Mathias Tengan told of a harrowing experience in saving a life. A woman came to one of our health centers, 7 a.m. Um, in labor, the midwife at first examination knew that this one was a problematic uh, delivery. Every available means of transport was explored. And it took from 7 a.m. till about 4 p.m. before something could be done, including the fact that they now had to go back and look for money to buy ties to change somebody's car ties before they transported. That lady. I mean, we audited that in WA. It, it was very shameful and embarrassing for the entire system. Communities are ready to help, but resources are meager. The district health management team is marching on in the face of all these. What we have done for the first half of this year is to try to rezone and redemarcate the entire um, district into blocks, manageable blocks, where we could put people in charge and then give them responsibility for managing that place and delivering on certain indicators which will be given to those people. And this is just to increase the, um, the, 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 the range of services that will be available to the uh, people and then also to strengthen the supervisory role. The district health management team is however working hard with the district assembly to fix health care. It is the hope of the district health management team that a doctor or two posted to the district will go a long way to improve health care and save lives. Bright Nananfo, TV3.
Let's now go to the northern region and focus on education. Inadequate furniture, poor infrastructure, and huge teacher deficits are challenges affecting academic performance of most basic and junior high schools in the Pandai district. The district education directorate is worried if the situation is not addressed. The future of school children in the area could be jeopardized. Pandai, carved out of East Gunja, is one of the deprived districts in the northern region in terms of education. It has about 86 basic schools with 28 junior high schools and a senior high school, and all of them face critical challenges threatening the future of these young ones. Don Theobald School Complex located in Pandai is one of the top schools in the district, yet conditions here speak volumes. With the structure. Sometimes when teaching the class one, what to teach the class one, the class two people want to also learn the same thing. So it distracts. Sometimes when you finish, you see they also rhyme, especially with the rhymes. They also give the same rhymes, which they have not prepared to rhyme that same thing. Instead of them learning a different thing, they want to rather rhyme with the class one. So it has been a very big challenge for us. The class 5B study in this makeshift structure provided by a philanthropist who stays in the compound with the family. The tree serves as a classroom for the class 5A of this school and the activities is being controlled by the weather. This is what they go through every day and they study under this condition. But just imagine what would happen when we visit the outskirts of the district. The news team then visited Majuro, one of the remotest communities in the district. Here, although the school structure looks a bit better, conditions within are nothing to write home about. Five-year-old Selena could no longer endure the pain of bad sitting posture on the floor. The situation is no different at the KJ as little Amina could no longer concentrate due to exhaustion and hunger. Worried headmaster Michael Lamoja said several attempts made to address their situation have not yielded results. When they are in their home, they lie down to sleep. So while they lie on the floor, they equally sometimes feel that they are in the home and they easily get asleep. And the handwriting, even looking at the upper primary, are very terrible because at the beginning they were not taught how to letter. The lettering, the positioning of they sitting or lying to write isn't correct. So with the help of the furniture or when furniture is supplied to us, it will help the children. Sixtos Adiko is a Pandai District Education Director. We have met with the community leaders and then, some, uh, then the PTA to see how best they can actually help us acquire uh, furniture for these children. And some of the efforts we have made that we have encouraged with the, uh, with the payment of capitation, we have encouraged some of the teachers or most teachers to capture uh, furniture so that they can use it to, to construct some furniture for some of these children to sit. But this is not enough to get all the children sufficient furniture to sit on.
We'll certainly follow up on the situation in Tandai to ensure that the pupils there get quality education. And as it for mission, this program is sponsored by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid Danida and the European Union. Thanks for watching. Coming up, sports.